All right. Next thing you need to do is uh, clone. Okay, basically the lazy way. Uh, you clone the repository. You clone your, which means you copy and paste your GitHub. That means whatever readme we have here, uh, we are going to copy everything to our local OpenFOAM directory. So I've made a, I've made the folder for this purpose so that you can just copy, copy everything in here. So we're gonna try git clone, and we need an address. So this will be the address. So copy and paste. All right. So that will be done. You should have a uh, laminar boundary layer open form kind of thing there. Okay. So yeah, if um, if the file is uh, is so called able to sync properly with GitHub, it should show that it is a Git folder. So if this is not a Git folder, it will show this fatal not a Git repository, or any other parent directories, blah blah blah. But let's say you go into this laminar BL open form and you just type Git status. Yeah, you should say on branch master. This is the correct way of. Uh, um, it's the correct thing that should show up. So, when you clone, when you clone your GitHub directory onto this, uh, onto your Ubuntu, um, Ubuntu, uh, what do you call that? Your interface or this folder uh, specifically, it will set up uh, everything con correctly. It will link this file over here to whatever uh, online repository you have. So all the setup uh, that's normally take quite tedious will be over and done with once you have a cloning. Once you do a clone operation, so that's a that's why that's why I say it's a lazy way. But it's a it's a way I find effective. So now I want to copy every of my open files in uh, open form files in here so what I'll do what I, I want to do is do this I want to copy everything over so where is our yep Blasius laminar github so when you're in the Blasius laminar github all these files are here so I want to upload all these directory wholesale so I'm gonna copy this go down so CP AR and put dot here and they should copy everything over so you see it's gonna take a while because uh, it's it's a lot of files yeah so you're gonna wait a while let it copy over So you see, it's copied everything over, hopefully, and so you see all the file, all the data files in there. So let's see, uh, CD10, for example, and then VIU, you should have all the data files here. So that's where you have your velocity profile, and you have your usual uh, constants and system. VI block mesh dict. Okay, so you have all everything in here. And you gotta check whether it's correct. Yeah, I got my 80, 80, and 40, 40. Uh, 80, 80 squares in the y direction, and, um, and a simple grading of 40 in the y direction. The expansion ratios, remember we were talking about that. Alright, so all I need to do now is okay, I have a git status, right? Alright, so now it, it says that you have an untracked file. Basically, uh, GitHub doesn't know whether you want to upload this file or not. So if you want to tell GitHub, okay, so I want to select folder, right? So, um, yeah, let's say in a normal uploading process, right? In a normal uploading process, you have to first select, you first uh, select a folder, a file. 
For example, let's say I want to upload this file. I need to select it first. Then I tell, then I have to drag it into the browser. All right. So I have to drag it into the browser, and then it'll start uploading. Right. That's usually what happens for YouTube, or Google Drive, or Dropbox. You have to select the file, then drag it into the, let's say Google Drive. So this is how it's normally done. So it is a similar analogy here. So you need to tell GitHub, yeah, I want to select the folder. So we're just going to do git add full stop and that will select the folder. So we wait for it to be done. Or to take a while. So to check, we can do git status again. So you'll say, wow, there's a lot of new files here. See? That's why it takes so long. It's taking so long. All right. So the other thing we need to know is called git commit. So I think I, I did it here, All right? Uh, yeah, git commit. Well, this is the old way. Yeah, git commit and dash m. So git commit dash m. All right. So just just do this. Git commit. That means this is kind of a telling, yeah, dragging, so called dragging it into the browser or doing something like that. So these these two are important. So git add and git commit. Then you can put some comments. This is the first version of these are your comments, right? First version of. Uh, Boundary layer, laminar, where flow. Or you can just put first version. Or you can also put this, it's very commonly used, first commit. Alright, so that will do it. Again, you'll take a while. And then you'll start to run all of these processes. Then you can do git status. So it will say on branch master. Um, so git status is just to, you know, keep a keep track of what's going on. Okay, so it says you are on the branch master. Well, branch is ahead of origin master by one commit. Okay, so that means you are more updated. Okay, on this this folder is more updated than so called this folder. That's what it means. So. Um, Next thing you need to do is just to press the upload button. Okay, so pressing the upload button, it'll be doing something like this. Uh, git push uh, origin master. So what is origin and master? Uh, git push origin master actually means that uh, we are pushing to the, well, we already know the destination because uh, we already cloned it in. When we clone, when we clone the, the thing in, we know that the destination is this URL. But what origin and master actually means is that hey, we are in this, uh, we are in this file, the origin file, and we are on the branch master. Now, uh, yeah, we want to push it from the origin, and this is the master branch. The master branch is the default branch. Okay, so in in any software development, there'll be let's say. Let's say you're on, yeah, you're developing a software, and then you start. We call this the master branch. Okay, the master branch. But uh, let's say you have other people developing it, not just you. Yeah. yeah so what will happen is that uh, you have, uh, let's say, a pers a second person developing it, and you're all trying to work on the same file but on different computers. Now that's going to be really challenging. So what, what happens is that maybe you have one version of the file on your computer and then another version of the file on his computer. Alright, so these are what is called two different versions or two different branches of the same file. Now in order for you to be working together, uh, you need to kind of consolidate these branches. And this guy is, for example, let's say working on the second branch and you're working on the main branch if you are the owner. So we call it the master branch. So what he has to do is to pull uh, get the file from you, uh, download it onto his computer, so-called, and then push it back 
to kind of sync the versions together. So he's going to pull and then he has to push it up. So download and upload, that's the idea. So these are what the idea of branches are about in Git. And you are on the master branch because you are the main developer of the software, so to speak. So in this case, the open form, uh, I'm doing the master branch. So I mean, that's that's about a, a rough explanation of what branches are about. And you know, GitHub has a lot of functions that can enable you to do interesting things with branches, like sync it together, uh, so they can work in parallel. But they're not for this video. So we'll just, yeah, get back to our discussion on, uh, yeah, you just get back to working on the uh, master branch, right? You just type this, and you go, enter your username, which, that's it for me. And then you'll start to upload. So you compress and upload. Let it let us do this thing for a while. Okay. Okay, so it will just start to upload. And everything is uploaded. So if you check your GitHub, you check your GitHub here. Yep, you're gonna reload this. Alright, so we have a third commit. See? We have this, uh, we have all these uh, files here. You have uh, everything here uploaded nicely. Okay? Yeah, so everything's uploaded nicely, but the next question you're gonna ask is hey, what happens if someone goes and makes changes on this uh, laminar foam? Laminar foam? Uh, laminar open form. So I'm just going to uh, go through how to sync it together. So I'm going to just type some random text here um, in the readme file. So for example, let's say in the future we want to do turbulence modeling. So I'll just type in some random text down there. And in a while, I want to show how to actually sync your current uh, local folder with the open form, no, not the open form, the GitHub, uh, the GitHub repository. So this is uh, being done by something called git pull. So I'm going to type my text and then I'm going to uh, commit the changes uh, very shortly. So this is just some random text that I'm putting down and I'm going to commit uh, random text. Update readme.md is a random text. Okay, just some random text I'm going to commit. All right, so this, uh, this is uh, something I've done an edit I made online. Now it's the fourth version, so to speak, the fourth commit. And then we'll type, let's say we want to start working on this. We have git status. We have nothing to commit. And then let's say uh, you want to sync, you want to sync this folder, this online version with this. You have to sync it manually, just like Google Drive, you know, it automatically syncs, but you have to sync it manually. So we call it git pull. Okay. So what it does is that um, what git pull does is just to sync this folder. Rather than you delete this folder, clone it again, you just do a git pull and that will just sync the folder properly. And let's see whether the readme MD actually updates. So see, for the future we want to include turbulence modeling, blah 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 blah. And there, it's perfect. So this is this is how uh, this is how uh, we do basic things on GitHub. So we have a uh, Git put. Uh, we start by you know initializing our username and everything. We need to include the username. Uh, okay, we do the we install uh, Git first on our Ubuntu. Then we do our username thingy, and then um, yeah, and then uh, we. We clone the folder because that's a very easy way of uh, uh, yeah so-called uh, yeah what am I gonna say yeah it's, it's a very easy way of making a, a GitHub folder that's uh, uploadable because normally if this is just a, if it's like say this folder and you do git status. You say it's not a git repository, so you cannot upload anything using the git 
uh, interface. So the easiest way to do it is just to clone, which is just to copy everything down from GitHub and all the URLs and everything are set for you nicely. So, so git status. So yeah, on this branch, okay. All right, so uh, that's that's the repository there. We have also uh, learned how to you know so called uh, sync the file. So uh, remember, I told you that you need to do the git add and git commit. So git add is a is a what do you call it? In the correct terms, it's called I think it's indexing. Oh, yeah, but uh, I'm just using a very scratchy uh, analogy, saying that hey, yeah, I am. I am selecting the folder, so that's git add and git commit. Then I'm dragging it into the browser to upload it, and that is the git push origin master. So it pushes it from the from your uh, local like computer, the origin, and you specify the master branch, which is the default branch. And it pushes all the changes up to GitHub. And let's say let's say you there are some new changes, and you want to sync. You want to sync uh, with GitHub. You have to pull the changes from Git, so that basically syncs your folder with this folder, and then you uh, kind of um, yeah, you kind of just uh, yeah sync your folder, and you can like start doing more and more changes. So these are some of the basic Git commands that are very useful to know that we can do GitHub on. So that that makes GitHub like a cloud folder now. So that's a very useful thing. Uh, of course, GitHub there's a lot more things you can do with it, but these are the basic things to just get us started. And uh, you, if you want, you can go and visit my GitHub uh, to see the folders I've uploaded there for your reference. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe we can discuss more about yeah, uh, other things. Yeah, like uh, yeah putting github on a new computer and everything so yeah that's that's uh that's all we have for you that's all i have for you thank you very much see you again